Right, so carrying on, be careful of my time. Um, I'm going to have, do I do two lots of completing the square? Comp square. So I'm going to have, I'm going to put the x's together, the x squared minus 4x, which you know for completing the square will be x minus 2 squared minus 4. The squares keep going a bit wonky. And then I've got a y squared plus 2y, which you know is y plus 1 squared minus 1. And then I've got, which is a different colour, uh, where they have to be, I've got the minus 4 is equal to 0. So now if I collect the numbers together, I've got x minus 2 squared, I've got y plus 1 squared, I've got a minus 9 on the left, but I'm going to take it over onto the right hand side. There. So that then tells me, oops, God, that squeaked, that my centre is 2 comma minus 1, and my radius is root 9, which is 3. There. So that's quite a nice one, isn't it? So we'll look at example 4 then. So it says, find the equation of a circle whose centre is 3 minus 5, and it passes through the point 6, comma, minus 7. So I've got a circle, dodgy looking circle. It's got a centre, 3 minus 5, and the point is 6 minus 7. So that's going to be over there, isn't it? 6 minus 7. So I've got the centre on it, so I'm happy with that. I know it would be x minus 3 all squared and y plus 5 all squared. What I haven't got is the radius, so I need the radius. So I'm going to use Pythagoras for that, aren't I? So if I look, if I look at a little triangle here, the x value goes from, from 3 to 6, so it's 3 across. The y value goes from minus 7 to minus 5, so it's 2. So the radius... will be 2 squared plus 3 squared. So the radius is root 13. So when I sub it in, because I want r squared to sub in, I'm going to put 13 into my equation. So my x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is r squared will become x minus 3 squared, y minus a minus 5, so plus 5 squared, it's r squared, which is 13. But look, it wants it in the expanded form. So if I just quickly expand the brackets, make sure I don't make any mistakes, because you know me, I am bound to make a thousand mistakes. Give or take. So then I want the x squared plus the y squared, because I'm following this layout, minus 6x plus 10y, the numbers on the left, so I've got 9, pen keeps sticking, 9 out 25 is what, 34, take the 13 is 22. Is it? Have we got somewhere on No, it's not. Yeah, donkey. Told you, here's me saying I'll never make a mistake. Or actually, no, I said I would make a mistake. So, you know, at least I'm true to fall, it's 21. But at least I knew, I knew I got it wrong. Right, so... So quick look on the page. So some information about the, the different types of circles there. I've got one minute left. So I wonder if I should just do this on a new video. Oh, actually, let's see if we can do We know that's a right angle, don't we? So we know. No, do you know what? Do you know what? I'm going to stop it and do it properly. Bye-bye.